my name is pooja arora assistant professor at bani group of colleges and on behalf of gurukpu.com i am giving you video lectures on discrete maths and today we are going to discuss about uh, relations in discrete maths we have already completed the set theory and now we are moving to the topic relations but before starting uh, relations what is relation we are going to discuss but before starting that we have to understand what is cartesian product uh, it is a type of operation on set so uh, this is a cartesian product cartesian product is denoted by this symbol asterisk okay and the definition of cartesian product says that if there are two sets set a and set b then what is cartesian product cartesian product is a, a set of a pair means a set of pairs in which uh, in each pair first element is from set a and the second element is from set b so this type of set is called the cartesian product of two set i will take an example for example if i have a set 1 2 3 and 4 and a set b x comma y and i have to find the cartesian product of these two set what will i do i will denote by this a asterisk b the symbol of cartesian product and will i will make a set in which every element is a pair pair of element like this and in the pair first element is from set a and second element is from set b so this is my first pair of cartesian product in this way i will make all the pairs because definition says all x belongs to a and all y belongs to capital b so all the elements of set a must be belong to set b so the cartesian product set will be equal to 1 comma x 1 comma y 2 comma x 2 comma y 3 comma x 3 comma y 4 comma x and 4 comma y so this uh, set is called cartesian product so let us understand with one more example if i have and if i want to make a cartesian product with single set means if i have only one set set a how the cartesian product will be defined cartesian product will be defined as a cross a a asterisk a and the definition is given by just for example i have the same set again 1 2 3 4 so the cartesian product will be 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 then 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 3 and 3 4 Four one, four two, four three, four four, and that's are all the elements of Cartesian product A cross A. So uh, in this we understand that we are making a pair of each element with each element. Okay, so this is called Cartesian product. Okay, now when we understand what is Cartesian product, we can move to the topic relations. And to understand what is relation. relation is defined by nothing relation is defined by an association between two sets relation is a association between two set and the set of relation is a subset of cartesian product because it is also a association between each element of two set so what is relation relation is a subset of cartesian product association between two set that means we limit some of the elements in the cartesian product and the uh, resultant set is called our relation uh, let's take an example of relation if i have two set set a 1 2 3 9 11 set b 0 4 7 okay and the a relation r relation r is given as relation is from set a to set b set a to set b we are giving a relation such that A is less than or equal to B, 
where A belongs to capital A and B belongs to capital B. Okay, this is a definition given for the uh, for this example. A relation is relation is described from set A to set B such that A is less than equal to B. That means if the first element is from set A and the second element is of set B, the condition of the relation says that the uh, element of set A must be less than to element of set B. So according to this definition, which element can satisfy these uh, condition, which are for example, I am taking 1, 1 is less than 2, 4. So, I can say this uh, pair satisfy this condition. So, this pair of uh, elements will be in the set of relation R because 1 is less than 4 and then 1 is less than 7, then 2 is less than 4, 2 is less than 7, 3 is less than 4, 3 is less than 7, 9 Okay, now 9, 9 is not less than 7, 9 is not less than any element, so 9 will not be in our set, 11 is also not less than to any element of set B, so it will also not in my set, so these are the elements will be in the set of relation set, so relation can be described in uh, discrete maths with three form, first form is this definition form in which we define what the relation is in which set it is given the condition of the relation and the elements of the set okay and this is the second form to represent relation in discrete maths we make a set this is a set representation in which we make a set of relation r with the name r and each element of the set is the pair of the relation okay so this is the set form okay and we can also define the relation with diagrammatic form, pictorial form. We can also represent our relation. How we can represent pictorial form? Just as in Venn diagram, we have already mentioned that we make a set with this. In this 1, 2, 3, 9 and 11, these are the elements. And the another set that is 0, 4 and 7. Now, set element 1 of set A relate to? relate to 4 and 7. So, I am going to do this and this. It is related to both of them. Then 2 is related to 4 and 7. So, 2 is also related to 4 and 7. 3 is also related to 4 and 7. But nothing it is finished. So, this is the pictorial form of this relation. We can define it with the pictorial form in which we make two sets with uh, circles and then we denote the relation between the elements. So, this is the pictorial form of this relation. In this way, we can describe relation in the definition form, in the set form and in the pictorial form. Okay. And uh, what if I have to give a relation on a single set? Just as in Cartesian product, we can also define a relation on a single set. For example, this is my set and I am giving a relation R from A to A. I am describing the relation on the same set, set A to set A. Then the condition of the relation says that A equal to B. For all, A belongs to capital A and for all B belongs to capital A because they are, uh, both of the set are the same. So, uh, described to same set. Okay. So, now we are going to try, uh, trying to get the set of relation R. What is this? This will be equal to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 9, 9. That will be the set of the relation because the condition says that the first element must be equal to set B, uh, el second element. So, these are the elements which satisfy the condition and it will make the set relation. Okay, And you can also represent the same thing with the help of diagram 1, 2, 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 9 and H in which you denote it by this. 1 is related to 1, 2 is related to 2, 3 is related to 3 and 9 is related to 9. So, this is the pictorial form of this relation and you can also describe the relation with the help of matrix. So, matrix form is also available. What is matrix form of representation? Here are the elements 1, 2, 3, 9. 
वन टू थ्री नाइन ओके एंड वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू मेक अ मैट्रिक्स इन विच द एलिमेंट्स विल बी वन और जीरो इफ द एलिमेंट इज रिलेटेड टू दिस एलिमेंट दैट द वैल्यू विल बी वन इफ द एलिमेंट इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू दिस एलिमेंट दैन द वैल्यू इक्वल टू जीरो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वन इज रिलेटेड टू वन यस सो आई विल मेक इट वन इफ वन इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू टू सो आई एम मेकिंग इट जीरो सो हियर इट विल जीरो जीरो टू जीरो वन जीरो जीरो so this will be the matrix of this relation so we can uh, describe a uh, we can represent a relation with uh, set notation with pictorial form with matrix form and we can also represent a relation with the help of digraph you know a uh, graph with direction that is called digraph so you can also represent a relation with the help of digraph i i will show you how to represent a relation in digraph form In diagraph, what you have to do, you have to uh, mention the elements of the set. For example, one, two, three, and nine, and make a direction, make a graph in which the which are related to each other. For example, the one is related to one, so I am giving this like this. Two is related to two. Three is related to three, and nine is related to nine. so this is a diagram of this relation in which no elements are related to each other all the elements are related to itself so this type of diagram is represent this relation so this is the diagram form so we have discussed four type of uh, four ways to represent a relation first is set notation second is pictorial form third is matrix form and the fourth one is diagraph form you can represent the relation in any one of them okay and the one thing also we have to note here that in the set of relation one is related to one with uh, according to the condition so i will denote it by one r one okay because one is related to one so we can say one r one or in another form we can say one one belongs to r one one belongs to r because this pair of element is present in the set r we have already discussed the notation belongs to and not belongs to in our set theory chapter and if i say that one three is not belongs to r because one three is not a pair in the set so uh, in this way you can represent the element of the relation with the help of note set notation okay uh, so this is the basic idea of relation that what is relation now we are going to discuss about the types of relation types of relation there are uh, basically we have to study three type of relation which are very uh, popular and which are very useful for you uh, the first one is reflexive relation reflexive relation what is reflexive relation in which and every element of a set is related to itself then the relation is called reflexive relation what i am saying every element of a set is related to itself then the relation is called reflexive relation for example if i have a set a in in my last example what i have given that condition was condition was a equal to b my last example so in that ex, uh, according to that condition what i make the set set of relation is 1 1 2 2 3 3 okay and in this the condition of the reflexive relation satisfy because the condition of reflexive relation says that a a belongs to r for all a belongs to capital a this is the condition of reflexive relation what is the condition of reflexive relation that a a belongs to r for all a belongs to capital a that means every element of set a must be belong to itself so the relation is called reflexive relation in in our example i have a set a in which there are three elements 1 2 and 3 and all the three elements are related to itself for example 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 
and 3 is related to 3. So, this type of relation is called reflexive relation. If any one of the element is not related to itself, then the relation is not called the reflexive relation because it is necessary to relate each each and every element of set A to itself, then only it, the relation is called reflexive relation. This is our first type of relation, reflexive relation in which every element of set A is related to itself. And the second type of relation is called symmetric relation. What is symmetric relation? Symmetric relation definition says that if AB belongs to R, then BA must be belongs to R. Then this type of relation is called symmetric relation. That means if you are making a pair of two elements A and B, then there must be a pair called B and A that be, must be belongs to R, then this type of relation is called symmetric relation. If I give you an example of symmetric relation, means if I have a set of relation R like 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1 on the set A equal to 1, 2, 3. And let us try to find out that this relation is symmetric or not. The symmetric condition says that if A B belongs to R, there must be B A belongs to R. For example, if there is a pair 1 comma 2. So, according to this definition 1 comma 2, then there must be a pair 2 comma 1 in the relation set. So, we get the uh, 1 comma 2, then there is 2 comma 1. So, for this the condition is satisfied. Move to the next pair, we are having 1 comma 3 and in our relation we got 3 comma 1. So, this condition is also satisfied. Move to the another one that is 1 comma 1 and if I oppose it, it is again give me the 1 comma 1. So, this is present in the relation. So, we have uh, completed it 2 comma 2. So, we have uh, satisfied the condition of symmetric relation for all the pairs in the relationship set. So, we can say that this relation is a symmetric relation. Okay. And in the, our previous uh, type of relation was reflexive relation. Okay. So, let us try to find out is this relation is a reflexive relation. What I have told you that reflexive relation each and every element of set A must belong to itself. For example, 1 must be belong to itself. So, here I get 1 belongs to 1 condition satisfy. Next element was 2 then 2, 2 comma 2 is there. So, 2 is related to itself. But there is a element 3 which is not present in my relationship set because it must be related to itself 3 comma 3 must be in the set but there is no element like 3 comma 3 so this relation is not reflexive this relation is only symmetric but not reflexive so these are two type of relation that first one was reflexive and second one was symmetric relation we will discuss the other type of relation in our next video. Thank you for watching my video and if you like my content, please like, comment and share my video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.